Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Fiona, and here is her story. Hi, I'm seeking insight related to a past relationship, more of an acquaintance. I knew this guy named Paul, and I had bumped into him one evening at a nightclub called The Hot House in my town. Later in the night, I said goodbye, and he had followed me out to the lobby area stopped me and asked me to come to his apartment later in the week. I asked if I should come by in the day or in the evening, and he said, oh, anytime. He was very insistent that he wanted me to visit. I went around a few days later and was horrified and dis disappointed to see he lived with a girlfriend. I left after about 25 minutes after making strained conversation with her. She was staring at him with this, who the hell is she look? I said I had to go, and he saw me out. He was very casual and not keen and interested like he had been saying, see you around. I was very puzzled. I eventually, I eventually figured out that he used me to annoy his girlfriend. I found out they were breaking up as she was going, going to a teacher training college. Was strange though because he was very, he was so very different to how he had been in in the nightclub and other places. I remember once in a bar he said to me, I need to speak to you. Then this woman walked in the door. It was the same woman, the girlfriend, and he ignored me as if I wasn't there. I was puzzled then then he I was puzzled then and only realized it was his girlfriend after meeting her at his apartment. He never told me he had a partner. <clears throat> this guy's actions perplexed me years later. I still feel jarred and angry about this. A year later, I saw him at another club, and when I was at the bar getting a drink, he said hello to me. I looked at him coldly and said to him, I thought you were a nice guy, but you're a creep. You're using me to make your girlfriend jealous and was not fair to me, and it was not fair to her either. She's better off without you, mate. I then walked off. That girlfriend had left him and, had, and, he, had got, and he had got with someone else by then. I was very surprised that instead of being embarrassed about being so manipulative or, apologi or apologetic for using me like a pawn, he actually looked infuriated. Can you explain this angry reaction? He looked furious. I was scared. Thank you. Yeah, because the narcissist doesn't want to be called on, on their game. Look, you called him on what he was doing in his, in his, in his hunting zone. Okay. You can't challenge the narcissist in their in, in in their in their hunting zone, in their gaming zone. He's on the hunt. And now you called him for what he is, you're going to get a narcissistic injury and he's going to he's going to protect. He's going to protect, you know, his area that he feeds on his prey. And these clubs are nothing more than 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 prey for him. Okay? I would also question, I would also question whether he was trying to make the girlfriend jealous at the time or he was trying to set something up with you and the girlfriend and him because he's seen that a million times as well. And that didn't play out the way he thought it was. The bottom line is, is you're challenging the narcissist, okay, in their hunting area. They're going to react viciously, okay? Especially when you're about to affect his ability to hunt more. That's all that went on here. You're dealing with a predator. And the, and the, and the narcissistic predator, okay, doesn't like you screwing up his game. And that's a simple answer as I can give you on that one, Fiona. So... I hope that helps. Thanks for your contribution and your story. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made or a Facebook live chat, 
or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you guys. Without you all, this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance.